Greetings from Polyhedron and Polymath. Um, we just got uh, buffed up um, from the Nexus, and uh, we got a, a port to South Row. Um, so I got a Shaman buff, a Druid buff. I have my own Haste, or my own Clarity, Breeze, which gives me a whopping, uh, I think, 14. Let's see, sit down. Oh, 16 mana regen. Not bad. I think uh, that beats what you can get in the station store, so I don't have to buy um, uh, clarity pots from the station store. I think concentration pots would give me an extra flowing thought. So I think that's one per tick. I do believe. And um, I'm at that sort of transitional stage between um, uh, crocs, where crocs are starting to become a little more little trivial, Timorous Deep, where those skeletons are uh, just a little too beefy for me. So I'm going to um, head to lower, uh, upper guck, not lower guck. And the uh, cool thing about um, upper guck is, because I'm a quote-unquote good erudite, a good agnostic erudite, um, the uh, frog logs at the entrance don't have a problem with me. <clears throat> They're just dubious. They're not threatening or kill on sight so um i can i can get inside um if an invis drops so these frog logs here they're not going to attack me if i attack them i'll ruin my faction with them and then i won't be able to really navigate um upper guck um so i'm basically making that pragmatic decision of not killing any upper guck frog logs and just going and uh farming spiders um the uh, experience for the spiders here is about as good as the crocs, um, but the crocs don't drop spider silk, and I can get a little bit more money for spider silk than I can for crocodile meat. So um, um, let's just see. This is commonly camped. Uh, we do have a named spider here, and you have to bear with me. Swimming skill is just starting. And um, so what you do is you just go in through the entrance, the Sukor Point. You go in, and you just make your first right and just follow this little path. It's like half half swimming, half um, like like treading through marshy water. And um, all right, so it looks like yeah, this is being camped right now. Um, yeah, it's camped. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to camp here. Um, but basically, what you do is um, you have this crocodile here. These crocodiles give you about not even a percent at level 16. Um, and then what you have is you have uh, two groups of three. So you have a group of three here in this little room uh, where the giant heart spider spawns. Then you have a group of two in this room where I am. Then up around this bend, you have a group of three um, and then you have a group of two. So you have two groups of three and two groups of two. And I believe they're on a 20-minute respawn timer. I believe it looks like, well, yeah, nobody's here, so I just have to wait for the respawns. And we'll see what else they have. Um, this ring and this spider sack, I'm going to actually loot all this stuff. So I'm going to be a little bit of a, um, I'm going to just clear off these corpses because, for example, these um, spider legs can be used to make spider bites. These uh, venom sacks, I think they sell for about a half a gold. Um, so clearly someone's just using this to just farm silk. Um, these uh, spiders are very generous with their silk. Um, so this is a great place to farm. And as you round this corner, there's some upper guck frog logs. Again, I'm they're just dubious to me. So they're not going to attack me unless I attack them. But if I attack them, then all three will attack me because they're on social aggro. Um, we'll see if this guy, um, the guy that killed these, is he going to, um, is he just going to just wait for respawns or what have you? Um, Ten minutes. Okay, so I think um, what we'll do is we'll just start killing this crocodile. And um, no, no, uh, we'll go ahead and apply um, a damage shield.
And these are the mobs that where it's like a good thing to. Um, uh, these are the mobs where you kind of want to train up your defense because they're um, about to become totally trivial. Well, so we'll just go ahead and just start stabbing. Um, damage shield is five, six points. I can pierce for about five. He's hit me for one. But I've got so much um, hit point buffer that um, I'm not really going to lose any hit points by just meleeing this crocodile. And uh, Polymath can come in and help. And um, I'll root him. I don't have a regen, but it's not that big a deal. So um, hopefully we'll get some ticks of defense off of this. Let's look at skills, defense. We're above average, not bad. Um, annulus, or um, keep calling him Annulus, he's polymath. Um, he's at 57. So it does take, once you get within, like, I think um, 20, one of my buddies was saying, um, once you get within 20, the rate drops down considerably. Um, but yeah, the only way is to just get beat up. There you go. And um, 0.8, um, 0.8 per croc. Let's see here. Let's see if there's still anyone in zone. Nobody in zone. So we just got to wait for respawns. And um, so, yeah, I just worked this little corridor here. Um, Ancient Croc, I think, would be way too strong for me. Um, looks like he might have a nice juicy weapon, but I can't kill him. Eventually, what I'm going to do, what I'd like to do, is uh, work uh, Lower Guck. That's kind of like my end game with these two tunes, is um, to kind of lur uh, work Lower Guck on my own. See if I can do it. Um, I think um, as long as I'm above water, I think I can pull crocodiles. It looks like someone killed all the crocodiles. So what we can do... And these crocodiles are not social aggro. Let's try to see if that will land. No, it doesn't land, so I think you have to be above water to land it. So I think I have to... Let's see here. Let's get above water here. So now that I'm standing, if I... So yeah, I can land him like that. And then... <laughs> this is just asking for trouble. Bad pathing to get to um, Polymath here. Sit down. See if he... There he is. Okay, there he is. Okay. So um, the way that you would pull him is just by standing. There's another crocodile in the water. Just terrible experience. So we're just waiting for these... Um, just waiting for the spiders to respawn. Just looking for something to do. What I can do is um, land this alligator here, or this crocodile here. Pull him right in. He'll come right out of the water. Just root him right there. And the cool thing is these spiders, whenever they do respawn, uh, they, they con indifferent. Oh, there's one. There's one. Okay. So you see how I'm non-invis. I just sit on him. He doesn't care. So, uh, boom, okay, all right, so what we're going to do, it looks like whoever it was pulled this camp, broke it pretty well, okay, there we are, just pull them back, and, I mean, it's just root them, so these uh, spiders hit a little harder, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a damage shield on my... Uh, pet and of course they do poison you but the poisons don't hurt that bad I'm just gonna keep checking see if this guy logs back in I don't think he's gonna log back in there. okay there you are and let's see well he wasn't very generous all right so same thing with this guy let's just try to pull in with uh, languid pace there you go and then Sick the mage pet on him. 
boom okay there you go and then we'll just work over here so there's the two groups of two there's the large heart spider this is a placeholder so let's go ahead and finish this guy off okay so now we can work him into the room which we just got out of come on There you go. Okay, so now he is rooted. And what I can do is choke him. True waste of mana. And then just kind of take the mage pet and have the mage pet do his job. <laughs> and what I'm waiting for is Polymath's uh, regen to kind of kick in. And let's see, did we get any silks there? Nope, no silks. <laughs> or did I? So we're just going to let this choke tick down 22 seconds. Probably not going to get the full efficiency out of it, but that's fine. So there's another one. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull him in with Tash. Come around this way. Come on, root him. Okay. Cool, this Mithril Earring um, sells pretty well. Um, the Spider Legs can be used to make Spider Bites, uh, which can raise your skill, I believe, to like the low 30s, if you're interested in making food. There you go. Polymath is still poisoned. So yeah, that Mithril Earring is about five. Um, let's go ahead and just, I'll just root him in place. Boom. And just. Boom. We'll just kind of let this uh, dot do its job. <laughs> and um, let's see, right now I'm at 91, 88. So uh, the experience 1.5 for that yellow con was 2.6, 1.2. Not bad, not bad. So um, just want Polymath's health to regen a little bit. But uh, we can send his pet in now. There you go. There you go. And just reapply the root. Okay. That's yeah, getting full efficiency out of a dot. And what we can do just for fun is, uh, I don't know, bind wound. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. So I got 1.5. There's two silks. Um, there's this golden earring that sells for about, I think, five gold. All right. All right. So there's a group of three. All right. So we'll sit down, stand up. Um, yeah, this is where regen helps a lot. Okay. So what we're going to do, hopefully not get a crit failure. Um, Okay, we'll give him quickness, and what we'll do is we will mem a soothe. Okay, and let's go ahead and soothe the one in the back. Sit down. Soothe the one in the front. Okay, and let's just languid pace this one. See if we get him and okay, and try and get that sort of transfer aggro off. Okay, there you go. And um, he doesn't really have the mana pool, but he does. There you go. Didn't have to use a spell there. All right, cool. Sit. And uh, let's see. Did I get a silk there? None. Wow, these guys are much less generous than they used to be. Let's languid pace him. See if he comes in. Pit. Boom. Root. Boom. Okay, he's fine. And. So, yeah. Um, looks like uh, Khan or um, Khan here. 
doesn't look like he's poisoned yet and uh, so we've slowed the heart spider and conned has quickness on him I'm not sure how much quickness gives him over haste over burnout because burnout does have a, a attack speed on there so I don't think it has over haste so it might just be just like totally like like n not really useful but um but you know the damage shield certainly helps and what we're gonna do is just send the pet in now pet attack and I'll just just languid pace I'm not even tashing them because their magic resist is sufficiently low that should stick the main thing is just like um, slow and Okay, so that's the group of three, and um, I can use um, Shock of Flame. I have the mana pool, and then just root. Main thing is root him, because if he runs into this room, which he is, there you go. Okay, one Spider Silk. Some of these were dropping as many as four, so they're not so generous this time around. Um, but one thing I like doing... One thing I really like doing is um, is just collecting like trade skill materials. Um, so I'll probably train up um, the initial stages of um, cooking with um, with these spider legs. Um, Probably what I'm going to do with these spider silks is just try to sell them and um, try and make some money for some armor. I have about 20 plat to my name. Oh yeah, another thing they drop are they drop um, precious gems for like spell runes and stuff. Also to sell because you know you can make some money off of them. Uh, about to ding on polymath, so one more uh, cycle of this. So you do like 10 or 12 cycles of this, and then you you can ding a character. Um, just go ahead and just a pet attack there. You can tell, like, this is definitely not Ixar regen, it's Erudite regen, which <laughs> is, uh, let's see, what's my regen here? Five. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you definitely, you, you pay for that regen. So that's kind of the sucky thing about not having a druid. Um, you know, you you definitely. I actually don't mind that he runs because all the other spiders so are have been eliminated. Um, there you go. Four spider silks. So okay, that run gave us eight spider silks and five. Well, I got five legs, but really that's the silks. Um, Okay, come back around. Okay, so let's just sit here, run Polymath back. So you just keep doing this over and over. Um, you know, the Talisman of Altoona is going to override my shield. Um, and the Skin-like Nature gives me a nice... Um, I think this might give me hit point regen. No, it just gives me hit points in armor class. I think the next rank, I think like Protection of the Glades might give a hit point regen. Not sure. But yeah, I'll definitely take um, hit points. The one named spider here is called the Giant Heart Spider. He drops a shield and he also drops like a chest piece for uh, chain classes. So um, we'll just kind of see what we have here. I'll just pull the Crocs in just to keep the XP rolling just to and to have something to do. Um, let's see here and train up my swimming let's face it but yeah the spiders um, depending on the run um, they can be very very generous I've, I was able to get um, something like 80 silks which is pretty good um, you know and just to say if I sell them like just say conservatively if I were to sell those for say one plat per silk that's a, or, or two plat per silk, 200, 200 plats, not bad. Um, 
Oh, there's another swamp water crocodile. And another thing is like, look, I'll take him right to his buddy. And he's not on social aggro. I'll just sit right here. There you go. See how the other one's not attacking? So that's cool. So yeah. Um, uh, but the spiders are on social aggro. So about two crocodiles equal about one spider in terms of experience. And I got a melee defense out of that. So probably what I should be doing is just stabbing them. Um, there you go. Just, yep, and just keep an eye out. And same thing here. We'll just do like, we'll do two cycles here just to kind of go over it. Maybe we'll get a named spawn. Um, but yeah, you guys get the idea. Um, you know, just a little too experienced for the um, the crocodiles in um, South Row, Oasis of Mar. Um, a little not experienced enough for a timorous deep. And um, uh, so I just come here and farm silks. That way I can make at least a little bit of money to fund um, spells, uh, rune, um, rune components, spell components, etc. Um, and uh, you know, uh, maybe get uh, maybe get my tune some like very basic gear. Um, I think I just lost uh, my. Uh, Clarity. So, okay, spider's about to spawn, but we'll um, definitely get clarity back up and running. There you go. Oh, it looks like um, Polymath uh, leveled. Cool. So Polymath is now level 17. Nice. So I think we're probably about ready for the skeletons, so I think this is uh, going to start becoming trivial here. So we'll just do one more spawn cycle. Keep an eye. Probably is going to be this room is going to spawn first. Um, you can tell, like, the crowd control <laughs> is um, not really much crowd control that needs to occur when you've got a room that's, like, pre-broken for you. Um so, just keep an eye out for them. Any minute now. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, once I'm able to bust into uh, Timorous Deep and uh, kill uh, skeletons there, then, you know, the Black Bart's rum there sells pretty well. The earrings, um, the earrings that, um, the Gunthak earring, it just hit points, really and poison resist that sells i think for something like five plat so then suddenly now i'm going to be able to um to make enough enough money to really tip um to really tip like the druids and uh shaman that are giving me buffs and um instead of just kind of like just depending on their generosity you know what i mean um, let's go ahead and re-damage shield. I think I get a fire pet now. Um, I'm still getting 1.5. Um, Polymath is getting 1.3, so it's a little trivial. So this will be my last run once I ding. There you go. Not bad. Let's see if we maybe get a name in here. Pretty beautiful. Okay. Um, large, okay, so no name, but, um, of course. Did 
Dang, he is not wanting to... There you go. Ouchie. He poisoned me again. Well, he'll pay for that. Let's go ahead and... Okay, it looks like I dinged. Um, gold. Great. That does not sell well. <laughs> uh, heart spider. Okay. Does he still have his damage shield? Yep. All right, so just sit here and med. And then I'll have uh, Polymath do the next two encounters. So you can see the previous encounter, um, Polymath was the one that was hurting. Now it's uh, Polyhedron's the one that's hurting. Um, oh, we got another Heart Spider. Okay. I can't really target him. Tab. Okay, six silks and a carnelian. Uh, carnelian sells pretty well, so we'll definitely take that. Oh, there's the guy. There's probably the dude that was farming here. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to steal from you, but uh, you snoozed. So, um, so I'll go through one cycle here, and then I'll leave him. I'll leave him to his own devices. It looks like yeah, he just he just logged. So it's cool. Um. I probably, had he stayed a little longer, I was going to tell him I was about to leave, but whatever. Um, you know, he was offline. I got 15 plus silks, a little bit of um, gear, and I'm going to leave anyways. I'm just losing interest in this camp. Um, let me go ahead and collect some of the stuff. This earring will sell very nicely. And I think what we're going to do, ooh, a greenie. That's not good. Let's just nuke him to death. Okay. That's got to be really boring for this guy. I think probably a better place to go would probably be, um, probably be like East Karana. There's plenty of spider silks there. I guess if you don't want to deal with like, like the hill giant or whatever, but I mean, you can also get a whole bunch of pelts there. Um, but yeah, I'm just here just to get some startup cash to, to get these characters, you know, EXP'd, um, you know, so, well, I'm getting them EXP and some starter funds to get them, you know, spells and armor drops and stuff. Had a guy ask me if I wanted to get into a guild. Um, I mean, I guess it's possible, but you know, it, it would have to be on days that, um, what am I doing? It would have to be um, on days that Kith and Kin is not um, raiding. Um, I think this is Onyx, not bad. So probably what I would do is, uh, you know, get these guys up to max level, and then maybe do like a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday type, type situation, and then on Kith and Kin it would be like Monday, Wednesday... Saturday kind of thing. So I could probably do like uh, raids with, you know, maybe two different guilds. That would be kind of fun. So I think there's a third spawn in here. Perhaps. Um, but you got to keep in mind with the next uh, level cap increase, um, Mangler is going to be a level 105. A whole bunch of progression I haven't been able to do. Just because, you know, people are on vacation. It's the, the holidays times. So, um, I think, um, you do have, um, guilds here that are looking for more members, um, always kind of like, uh, this battle between, uh, having too many members and, um, not having enough members. I know that, um, you know, when, during the Planes of Power era, 
like we had so much membership and we had so much involvement that you would have to get on a wait list um, to to do a plane of um, plane of air raid. Just think about that plane of air. It's probably one of the most for people that know that raid. It is a real pain in the derriere. Um, the plane of air, and there were people waiting um, to do that raid because of either quests that they wanted to complete there, or to help with their final flag to get them into the plane of time. And so um, there was like you know I came in. I remember distinctly coming home after work. And having like it was a 72 person raid, 72 individual players that were on raid, and uh, I was like, like number four on the list of, of wait lists. So there's like 75 people that wanted to raid, but only um, uh, only 72 were allowed in. So I was like, you know, I was like fifth in line or whatever. I think I ended up getting in and getting my plane of time key. Um, and then the cool thing is once you're in Plane of Time, there are back flags in Plane of Time. So that's how we were able to get a lot of our ba uh, our boxes up into Plane of Time. And um, we were able to finish Plane of Time in Era, which is really cool. Um, but um, but yeah, that that was when our you know you know our um, involvement was probably among the highest. I don't really care that I'm wasting mana because this is my last run. Collect the last little bit of spider silk and I am getting out of here. Okay. Fun times. Um, we didn't get a chance to see the name, but what I'm going to do is uh, basically consolidate everything down, um, sell what I can, try to sell these spiderling, uh, as spider silks um, in the bazaar, try to make some cash, um, get some spells, get some food going, um, and um, um, then maybe get over to Timorous Deep and see what I can do there. All right, All right and here is the sale of the spider silks, made 856 plats um, in the bazaar. It's a cool thing about um, starting in the Luckland era, you're able to go right into the bazaar immediately, not have to go to the East Common Lands Tunnel. Uh, the high price when I listed these uh, was 20 plat per silk, and the low price was 1. So I chose a uh, value slightly below the median, and because I felt that um, the 1 plat um, set point, I felt like the stocks of that, um, at that price, were going to sell out pretty quickly. So um, at 8 plat per, I think that was a pretty decent uh, way to get them to sell quickly and make enough money. Uh, to uh, make me enough money to uh, to start um, uh, supplying uh, both polyhedron and polymath. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and here we are back in um, the bazaar. I was able to get this shield. Shaded shield gives you a whopping 20 AC. Luckland era item. Um, I got a spider fur cloak for fairly cheap. An extra 10 AC versus the two. That was the cloth cape that I had. Um, got this Savant's cap, um, which doesn't really give you any AC benefit, but it does give you this um, um, focus effect, which can reduce the chance that a reagent will be consumed up to level 44. So I'm level 17. So. That means uh, Jasper, that means Bloodstones, that means Cat's Eye Agate. There's a 15% chance that you won't consume them. Reagent Preservation or Reagent Conservation. Uh, I also got this Earring, uh, which gives mana and mana preservation up to 10% up to level 20. So I'm level 17. Not sure how much effect this is going to have, but it was so dirt cheap. I just wanted to get the slot filled. Um, so I got the same thing for um, Polymath as well, as, and I got him a new cape. Um, so you can tell our AC just benefited um, significantly. Um, let's go ahead and just go ahead and equip this earring and equip this cape. Alrighty. So what we can do is we can check the bazaar. I tried to hide names just to protect the, uh, the innocent. <laughs> but um, just know that... Um, 
you know, it's it's not a sin to make money in this game. Um, it is, I think, it is not right to cheat people. I think that um, eight plat eight platinum per silk is actually not a not really a bad price. And I think if I were on the buyer's side, I don't think um, if especially if I was trying to raid skill and in tailoring, I don't think that eight plat per silk I would have any. I don't think I would experience any buyer's remorse, especially if I'm raising skill. Um, you know, it's a price you pay for your education, right? And then eventually you develop the skill, and you can make uh, you can make uh, you know better and better tailored tailored items. Um, so what I'm going to do is just search by class. Um, we'll just go to in uh, Enchanter, and we'll just click on just armor, just any armor drops. Um, so I, I split a little bit of the money with Annulus or uh, Polymath. Not arrow. Armor. Okay. And we'll just sort by money. And um, you can tell we have some cloth gloves. Gossamer leggings. Um, I did get some new legs. Um, which give me some intelligence. I don't think Gossamer would give intelligence. So, um, but it does give slightly more AC. Scarab ring, I'm not going to buy this because... Um, probably camp Rahotep and he has such a quick respawn timer um, there's the polished bone spider fur belt I can get um, um, that gives agility and armor armor class agility and dexterity which is nice but I think uh, loam uh, loam is nice it gives me some fire resist uh, that's one thing is um, this shield that I got gives 20 AC, but it gives minus 5 fire resist, so I would be able to get that fire resist back with the loam belt, but it doesn't give any intelligence on that. Um, I have pushed my intelligence up with some of my gear drops. So what I'm trying to do is um, just get myself to this sort of interim level of... Um, uh, get myself to this sort of interim level of um, gear to where um, I can work myself up to where um, I can go to the hole and start farming loam encrusted gear on my own without having to buy it. And, uh, you know, 600 plats, not bad. Um, and loam gear is going down uh, mainly because um, people are, um, you know, upgrading. They're making upgrades. Gossamer robe, eight. I mean, it's a very, very slight increase. Um, so I think probably what we might do is spider fur. Spider fur is 10 AC. Uh, that would give me nine more versus this cloth cord. So I could buy two of these, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, so we'll get a spider fur on polyhedron and a spider fur on uh, polymath. And uh, then I think that's pretty much it. Um, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And... Um, and uh, yeah, definitely check out the spider silks if you're between, um, you know, if you're between uh, the Crocs in South Row and you're thinking about going to Timber's Deep, I'd say maybe spend like one or two levels um, killing spiders in um, in Upper Guck, and you'll definitely, um, you know, you'll definitely thank yourself. You'll get some levels and get yourself a little bit of money in the, um, to get some upgrades. So. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Take care, everybody. Have a good week.